everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I am going to share with you a new pencil sharpener that I just ordered on Amazon and I saw a post in my Facebook group and somebody was recommending this pencil sharpener and saying how wonderful it worked and that it worked even with the 120 set of square Brute Fooner pencils. And so it intrigued me because this little pencil sharpener is only $3.33 on Amazon. Now, it's not on Prime, so it took a little while to get to me, which is fine. I received it in the mail. I realized why it was only $3.33. <laughs> it is teeny tiny, like really small. I have it here next to my Doll 133, and so you could see how little it is. Most of you know how big the Doll 133 is. If I lay my hand on top of this, you can see just how tiny this pencil sharpener is. <laughs> so we are going to review this pencil sharpener today and see if maybe we have found a value, budget-friendly pencil sharpener that works with all of our favorite pencils, whether they are Prismacolors or they are budget friendly. So that is what we are going to do in this video today. If you want to stick around and see me review and test out this pencil sharpener, then stay tuned. If you check the description box down below, you will find links down there for my Facebook group as well as my email list and also my Patreon if you would like to support me over there. Let's go ahead and take a look at this cute little pencil sharpener and find out if it is an actual working pencil sharpener or a novelty. So the first thing we have to do is we have to unbox this cute little pencil sharpener. Let me check out this packaging. It's a little strange here, I think. Okay, it's actually easier than I thought it would be. So it comes in this little plastic box, little plastic see-through box. And this pencil sharpener is all plastic. It has this little piece of rubber. Well, it doesn't really feel like rubber, but I guess it's so you could lay it on your desk and it doesn't move much. Let me try it on my actual desktop. Actually, it doesn't do much. <laughs> I could still move the pencil sharpener around, so I really don't know what the purpose of that is, but it's there. <laughs> Now let's take a look at this and see. The hole on this pencil sharpener looks really small. Does that not look really small to y'all? Let me hold it a little closer to the camera. I wonder if the polychromos would fit in here. I pulled out some pencils, but I did not grab my polychromos and I know that they are a little bit wider. So I'm gonna have to check into that and grab those and see if it will sharpen one of those as well. Because like I said, it looks really small. The bottom tray pulls out just like that, just like the doll does actually. Oh, and look in there. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't know if I could take this pencil sharpener apart at all to really be able to show you. But if you look in there really closely, you could see that it has the same blade as the Doll 133 does. So maybe this is going to be a really great sharpener. I wonder if it, oh, let's see. Oh, it is gonna be just like the Doll 133. This part, I think, is detachable. It's not gonna have the little dials over here like the Doll does, where you could turn it to a blunter point of your pencil or a sharper point. And look at me getting shavings everywhere. But, I don't know. I, I'm looking at this for the first time with you guys on camera. Can you tell? <laughs> But it seems pretty solid, even though it is made out of plastic, like when I'm holding it, it does feel very solid. I'm just trying to see if the blade is removable. Oh, it is. Look at that. Okay. So here is the blade on this one. It has the helical or helical, I'm not sure exactly how you pronounce that, helical steel blade 
but it is in a plastic compartment. But the Doll 133 is all plastic as well, and it gets its heaviness because of this blade. But here is the blade on the doll, and then you can see that this one is quite a bit smaller, but it is the same type of blade. It's just in a different position, but if I hold it up like this, you could see that it is the same type of blade. Let me go ahead and put this back in here. Now, let me tell y'all, I went on Amazon and I started, I ended up down the rabbit hole because, I don't know, when I received this in the mail, it seemed like quite just a novelty to me, you know, just kind of like a little fun sharpener to keep on your desk. And I've not used it yet or tried it, so we're going to find out if that is true or not. But why shouldn't a little cute novelty pencil sharpener that is going to look cute on your desk work really well too? So we're going to find out. But it took me down the rabbit hole on Amazon, and it made me want to order all these really adorable pencil sharpeners that are shaped like animals and all different kinds of things. And so I was thinking about ordering a couple of those and doing a video to bring you all just a video that is just completely novelty pencil sharpeners and test them all out for you. So let me know if you'd be interested in that because I don't know, I just thought that would be a really good idea. But this, you can see, is pretty much or it pretty much does the same thing as the Doll 133. It has the same features. They are both plastic and it has the dial here that will pull the blade out so that you could clean it. And the only thing it's missing is this little dial to the back like the doll has that you um, can decide whether or not you want a sharper lead on your pencil or a, a blunter lead on your pencil. So we're gonna move the doll out of the way because I've got some pencils here and I'm trying to find one that has a little bit of a duller lead Oh, here we go. I've got my Prismacolor, my peach or light peach. Yeah, my light peach Prismacolor. And I was doing some burnishing with this, so it basically has no tip. So this is the perfect one to test it out with. I'm just going to put it in. It doesn't seem like it's going into the pencil sharpener. Oh, I really have to slide it. It feels rubberized or something inside there. I wonder if it's gonna damage my pencil. We are gonna find out, but I'm gonna turn this. Oh, it's really rough. Do y'all hear it squeaking? Oh my goodness! And it's not gonna stop like the doll does. Is it going to release my pencil? Here, let's see. It does give us a nice sharp tip on our Prismacolor. If I look at the wood on my Prismacolor, it looks a little bit different than when I sharpen it in my doll. Like it doesn't look as smooth. And so that really makes me wonder. I don't know. The lead looks nice and sharp though. I mean, it did give it a really nice sharp lead. Let me go ahead and just color with this a little bit. It didn't break my Prismacolor or anything, so that's a good thing. And I'm not having any issues with it. It didn't damage the core at all. It's just a little bit squeaky when you're turning it, and it's a little bit harder to turn. The doll definitely turns much smoother, but of course you're gonna pay $20 for the doll. You're only gonna pay $3.33 on Amazon for this. And I don't know, I just thought it was really cute. Like if you wanted to start collecting novelty little pencil sharpeners, and when I received this in the mail, I thought it was the cutest thing because my office is full of mermaid stuff. And I just actually went to Hobby Lobby and I bought a bunch of mermaid decorations just to sort of brighten up my office because I spend so much time in here. And I received this in the mail and I was like, oh my gosh, it's gonna fit in so cute with my blues and greens all throughout my office. But I really wanted to test it on a video and see how it performs, but it didn't get clogged when I was using it with my pencils. You could see that all the shavings are there inside the little tray. When I look inside the hole really, really closely, 
I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there is a little, little tiny white piece in there. And I'm assuming that is what gives it the feel where you have to push it in and it feels a little rubberized. I'm assuming that's what needed to be done when they built this sharpener since it is such a cheap sharpener they must have put the little rubber piece in there so that when you push your pencil in you can't just jam it into the pencil sharpener so to me that would make sense because it goes in here you just have to put a little bit of pressure on it to put it into the hole but I don't know it's in there because it's rubber it's not going to damage my Prismacolor at all you know how some of the uh, pencil sharpeners damage our Prismacolors or our other pencils because they have those like steel teeth and I don't know why these companies make those pencil sharpeners like that I mean especially when we have one that costs three dollars and 33 cents and they were even smart enough to put a little rubber piece in there and yeah, I'm looking in here now and there's a rubber piece to the top of the hole and there's another rubber piece to the bottom of the hole. So yeah, I'm assuming that that's there just to protect your pencils as they're being pushed into the pencil sharpener like I was showing you in one of my previous videos with my Teagull. That's why I had to get rid of it because there is nothing inside the pencil sharpener that is blocking you from being able to just shove your pencil sharpener in there. So like you put your pencil sharpener in there and on this side, you're holding the sharpener and you're actually putting pressure up against the lead on your pencil. And this sharpener is not doing that. And for $3.33, <laughs> if you just want a little novelty to sit on your desk or you want to start collecting pencil sharpeners, I mean, it even works. <laughs> So, I don't know. I just thought this would be a really fun video to bring to y'all. I'm going to test it out on my uh, 120 square brute funers, though, because that's going to be the real test. The other pencil that I really want to test this pencil sharpener out on is my Crayolas, because we all know that the Crayolas are very budget friendly, and so they have a very hard wood casing. And so, if this pencil sharpener can battle those that wood on those Crayolas, I'm going to be really impressed. Even if it's squeaking, I guess we'll find out on camera if it's gonna break for me, right? <laughs> that would be fun. <laughs> okay, I have one of my Square Brute Feeder pencils and we are gonna try it out in this pencil sharpener. It is going in. Okay, so let me show you here, it fits. In the pencil sharpener it's in it's in there nice and snug and I'm gonna start turning oh my gosh that actually sharpens that quite nicely now it's not gonna have that stopping mechanism like the doll does so let's pull it out and wiggle it just a little bit here uh, it messed up my pencil oh no it didn't no, it didn't. Okay, so here is the lead that it produced on the Brute Funer pencil. That is a nice, beautiful, sharp lead. Looks like it did a really great job. <laughs> I'm actually impressed. And I thought at first that it had um, damaged my pencil a little bit, but it actually didn't because it just got, I think, one of the shavings on there and I was able to rub it right off. So, let's try a Crayola now and see what happens. Can you believe this pencil sharpener is $3.33 and it sharpens a square pencil? Y'all, I'm going to be checking all of my pencils now on camera to show y'all which pencils it works with, but I have the Pablos too, and they are a hexagonal pencil. I'm assuming that if it works on the square pencils, that it may also work on a hexagonal pencil, but... I'm going to be the guinea pig. I'm kind of nervous because those pencils are really expensive and I don't want to mess up my really expensive pencils. I have a Crayola here and I purposely broke the lead because I really want to put this pencil sharpener to the test. You could see that the core of the pencil is way up in there <laughs> because I broke it pretty good and we've got the wood casing sort of on the outside of that core. So I am going to put this in the pencil sharpener and see if it's going to work. This is like the real test because we all know these Crayolas 
are very budget friendly and they have a very hard wood casing and they're even a struggle to sharpen in my doll 133 but it takes them down like a champ <laughs> so we're gonna see what happens with this little pencil sharpener okay y'all it's turning it is very hard to turn though are y'all gonna laugh if I break this little pencil sharpener on camera it is sharpening and it feels like it has I think it feels like it stopped let's pull it out and see what we got here <gasps> look <laughs> look at that a beautiful sharp lead oh my goodness let me color with this a little bit and see I don't know if y'all have seen my videos, my Crayola videos. These are some awesome pencils. I love these. If you don't have the 120 set of Crayolas, I don't know what you're waiting on because there are some colors in this set that you cannot get in any other set. I mean, look at this gorgeous green. Yes, they're a harder pencil and it takes more to get them down, but I'm using very light layers here and I'm getting plenty of pigment down on the paper and it's layering beautifully. This is the Spring Hill paper. Y'all know that that is the paper that I always use. And it works fine. Now I didn't test out the Brute Fooner after I had um, sharpened it. So let's go ahead and make sure that one is still working beautifully. And it is. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I can't believe that. $3.33. Let me go grab a polychromos because I want to see if it even fits inside of here. And I may grab one of my Pablo pencils too. I have my 120 set of Pablos here. We're going to open up these beauties. I love these pencils. There are the most gorgeous colors in these pencils. <laughs> and I feel so lucky to even have these. Oh, look, they're all like rolled around. I don't know if I can find one in here that has a dull lead. Let me pull out the first tray. This one's sort of dull. Let me see if I have one that's even worse. No, I keep a pretty sharp tip on all of my pencils and I do not want to purposely break one of these. <laughs> I'm sure y'all know how I feel about that. <laughs> but let me go ahead and try this one and see what kind of tip it puts on one that is sort of dull. I really just want to see if these are going to actually fit in the sharpener because they're a hexagonal pencil. So let's check this out and see. <gasps> it goes in. Wow, it slid in there easier than any of the others. I wonder if this pencil is a thinner pencil. Let's go ahead and sharpen. Wow, this one's the easiest to sharpen out of all of them too. And it feels like it's loosened up. And so let's pull it out. This one came out of the sharpener a lot easier too. And look how beautiful. A sharp lead. Now let me just color a little bit with this one. Oh gosh, look at that pigment that comes out of these. That is just gorgeous. I love these pencils. But yeah, it's just fine. It didn't break the core of the pencil. And it is coloring beautifully. Wow, I am actually a little bit amazed. I grabbed my polychromos and I have one that looks like it may have never even originally been sharpened. So I'm going to try with this one and see. Uh, it fits inside. Okay, so I don't know if y'all can hear that. But okay, so now it's going in a much smoother. 
Y'all should be able to hear everything because I just got a new amazing microphone. My voice should sound a lot more clear in my videos now and I bought that microphone because I plan on doing coloring classes which is to come if you're in my Facebook group. You already know that I am going to start doing group coloring classes. If you're interested in that and you're not in my Facebook group, let me know in the comments below so I could get you on my list and be able to contact you. But let's go ahead and try the Polychromos now. This is a lot easier to sharpen in this pencil sharpener than some of the other ones. The Crayola, of course, was the most difficult to sharpen in here. And it feels like it's done. And look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now let's go ahead and just try to color with it. It's fine. My goodness. I think that concludes all the testing I really want to do with this pencil sharpener, but my final thoughts would be that, I don't know, it feels pretty sturdy. Of course, just like with the doll, it gets a lot of its weight from that helical blade or helical blade that is inside of it. And it did a really good job of sharpening the pencils. You could see all my shavings in here, of course, because it is so miniature, you're not gonna be able to sharpen too many pencils because the little reservoir down here is not that big. And of course, with the doll, it's going to be much bigger. So here's my doll. And here is this cute little, what I would consider just a novelty pencil sharpener, which is very budget friendly. And it slides in and out very, very nicely. It really does. But like I said, it's not, it didn't damage any of my pencils. You can see all of my pencils. I'll show you the polychromos up close. And you can see that my polychromos was not damaged either. It has these little rubber pieces, one on the bottom and then one closer to the top. I'm not really sure if you could see it on camera, but it does have those little rubber pieces. So when you put it in, like I said earlier, you just have to sort of move it around a little bit to get it to slide along the rubber pieces. But I guess just because, I mean, they're selling this pencil sharpener for $3.33. So, I mean, it far beats some of the pencil sharpeners that you're going to purchase, like the Derwent Super Point that has the um, steel teeth on there inside the little hole of the pencil sharpener you could see that the doll is has rubber pieces i don't know if you look really close in here if you could see it or not i'll turn it a little so hopefully you can see but inside the doll you've got three little pieces that hold the pencil in there and they are all rubberized but with the doll of course it's going to your pencils are going to slide in uh, much easier but then the doll works in a different way to where you pull this out and then you push this in and then you slide your pencils in so it's got the releasing mechanism where it spreads those little pieces open whereas on the little budget friendly pencil sharpener you're not going to get that but i mean it's three dollars and 33 cents whereas my favorite pencil sharpener the doll 133 is i think like 1997 now they used to be 11 dollars, but that is no longer i guess that all has to do with supply and demand <laughs> and ever since i have been screaming about this pencil sharpener from the rooftops even my contact at doll said they have been selling tons of them so supply and demand supply and demand that's how life works right y'all so that's why and this is this is totally worth the 1999 i mean 11 dollars was an absolute steal for this pencil sharpener that it, it is totally worth the 20 dollars, and i really need to order a second one but this is a really cute little pencil sharpener. I'm going to, I don't know, I actually thought about putting like a cute little shelf in my office up on the wall and buying a bunch of novelty 
cute little pencil sharpeners and just putting them up on the little shelf and lining them up. I don't know how many of you have a separate coloring space, but that would be a really great idea for any of you that have your own little coloring space and you just want to add a little something to it because if you go on Amazon, there's tons of novelty uh, pencil sharpeners. There was one that was a nose. There's another one that's a bear and a panda and all kinds of different things. And I think I might order some of them and test some of those out for you. So if you want to see a video like that, please let me know in the comments. And that will sum up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. So you've got another choice for a pencil sharpener if you just want to spend a few dollars. If you just want to spend a few dollars, it's a fun little thing to have in your collection. I know that we are all collectors. <laughs> So as always, I'll have the link down in the description box below for this adorable little pencil sharpener. And I hope you all have a fabulous day. Happy coloring. Bye.